In this video, I will share some tips to speed up your simulation in Abacus Implicit or Static General Simulation. There is another video linked in the description that will share tip on speeding up your simulation when you are using Abacus Explicit. We will cover increasing simulation speed by using more cores or processor in the computer, reducing the increment size, reduce the history and uh, field output request, reduce the mesh in unnecessary portion of the model, reduce simulation time using uh, or increase simulation speed using general contact, also use reduced integration or linear formulation when possible, using small artificial damping, and uh, finally, some tips on the importance of using appropriate material properties. First, let's see how using more cores helps simulation runtime. This benchmark shows importance of using multiple cores in a Xeon processor. This trend is also true for your i5 or i7 processor. If you increase from one core to two cores, it increases your simulation speed by about 1.9 times. And further, if you increase from two cores to four cores, it increases your simulation speed by 1.8 times. And as you keep increasing, the simulation speed also increases, then the advantage is highest when you're using two or four cores. By default, the Abacus job will run in two cores, but if you are using, for example, a i7 processor, you can increase it to be four cores. If you are using some other processors and you want to know how many cores are available, open Task Manager and then in Performance tab, you can find the number of cores in your processor. Then after creating the job, you can go to Parallelization tab and increase the number of processors, which is the number of cores here. So by default, it would be two. So basically by increasing this number from two to four, you are approximately speeding up your simulation by 1.8 times. Tips number two, reduce the number of increments. If you are interested in the final simulation output and intermediate increment results are not important, increase the initial and the maximum increment size. By doing so, the model will run at maximum increment size and reduce simulation time. But uh, leave the minimum increment size very small and the num maximum number of increments to be high to avoid any unwanted error. Tips number three, reduce the history and the field output request. For example, in field output in the frequency, when in uh, this every n increment is equal to one, the output would be saved in the ODB after every increment. This can slow down the simulation, but you can set this value to 10 instead. Also untick any unnecessary output requests in field output and also in the history output request. Tips number four, reduce mesh in unnecessary portion of the model. For example, in this model, this peel arm is peeled off from this surface, something like this. So the simulation output is crucial in the film and close to the interface. So you can have less elements or bigger elements away from this uh, interface area and reduce the necessary number of elements to mesh this model. However, it would be a bad choice if you increase element numbers in this less important portion of the model. You want to reduce the number of elements in your model because for example, in a particular model, it is benchmarked that the solve time or simulation run time increases exponentially with the increase in number of elements. But also be aware that you also have to do a mesh convergence study. These two curves will help you to find a region where you have sufficient element at the same time the simulation speed is high. Tips number five, if your model has contact, try to use general contact because general contact solves faster. Tips number six, use reduced integration and linear element formulation when possible. This will reduce the number of integration point in the element. As a result, the simulation runtime will be significantly faster. You can choose between faster linear and slower quadratic geometric order of different elements. In addition, ticking this reduced integration runs the simulation significantly faster. Be careful that selecting these options can result in numerical problems like hourglass or share locking. Tips number seven, you can choose artificial damping factor to increase simulation speed. 
it is recommended to use the default damping factor. Using too large damping factor can result in inaccurate simulation output. Finally, be careful with the unit when defining material properties and use material properties found from the real experiments or some real source. Inconsistency among the different material properties can make your simulation run slower. In the next video, I will cover mass scaling, time scaling, among others that can improve the simulation runtime when you are using Abacus Explicit Solver. So please check in our channel.